Let's learn how to crop anyone and place it in any foreground that you want, without using a chroma key. Firstly, if you want to remove someone from the background using the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you need to go here and draw all these circles around the subject that you wish manually. I'm not going to enter into details on how to do this right now, but I guarantee you that this process can take hours or days depending on the video and the amount of frames that you have. That's why I use the Magic Mask, a feature only available in DaVinci Resolve Studio. Alright then, to use the Magic Mask, you need to go to the Color tab here. Click on this icon that is Magic Mask itself. Let's fast forward a little bit and begin to make the magic. If when you pass the cursor on the video doesn't show this icon, it's because your qualifier here is off, just like that. In that case, just click in the qualifier. Now, I'm going to change the window size here to better view and create the selection. I'll draw lines around the body of this woman in order to DaVinci Resolve detect her in the video, creating a mask. If you click here, a mask overlay will appear in red, indicating for you what is and what's not in your mask. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see that the selection is very poor, and we would need to create a lot of lines to fix that. So, to fix it faster, we can just click in the quality option here. This will require more processing power and time from your computer, but the final result is worth it. Use it wisely. You can see that the selection changed totally and it's much more precise. The standard values here are just fine, but you can modify the radius, for example, of the mask to make it an additional part from the background or remove some part of it already. Alright, after we are done with it, if we go to the next frame, the mask is no longer there. To fix it, go back to the frame you made the selection and choose this icon here. The Vinci will track all of your video based on the selection that you made with the qualifier. One other thing is that if you click in this person icon here, you get some other options for the mask. Person is chosen by default, but if you want to be even better, in these features here, you can select every single part of the person to the mask better understand what it is, like clothing, hair, face, hat, shoes, etc. We used the object option in this video because it's easier and less time demanding also. But keep in mind that DaVinci has also this feature. Alright, click in the timeline to see how the mask is, and when you're satisfied with it, just click in this mask overlay again. With the mask, you can do everything. The limit is the imagination, time and patience. You can change the color of the person, make it with a low contrast, high contrast, black and white, anything that you think of. Let's leave it black and white for now. If you click in this inverter icon, all the changes will be applied to the background. Pretty neat, right? Let's go to the final part now. Click here in Notes and click again with the right button of the mouse. Select this Add Alpha Output to it. This blue circle will appear and all you need to do is just click in the square on the video and drag it into the blue circle on the other side. The girl just got black. To fix it, just click in the inverter icon again and boom! The background is gone. Let's go now to the Edit tab. Here, I let the background disabled to use now. I will enable it and there it is already. To make it a little bit less odd, I need to change a few things. Let's change her size a little bit. I'll leave her here to the side dancing. To finish everything, it will be necessary to click on the tracker here at the color tab one more time and wait again for the tracker to finish everything. After the tracking is done, you have your final video. Now that you know how to create a magic mask, see these creative ways you can apply what you've learned.